meant like, oh shit, man, I gotta become a capitalist <laughs> or I'm fucked. Yeah. You know? yeah, no, for sure. I, I was gonna say, uh, I'm, not, yeah. I'm pretty sure that I'll nah, on a daily basis. So yes, 20 bucks saved. <laughs> You're welcome to give them to me on Patreon. Thank you very much. I'm kidding. I'm, I'm, I'm joking. Yeah. Oh, actually, I'm quite a capitalist. I'm quite, I, I make quite a good capitalist for a commie. And actually very often we do. I'm yeah. pretty sure that a lot of extremely successful capitalists have read Marx, but they didn't go like, Okay, we need revolution. Mm. But they went like, "Oh shit, man! I gotta become a capitalist, or I'm <laughs> fucked." Yeah. You know? Yeah, no, for sure. I, I was gonna say, uh, I'm not surprised for somebody who works in advertising. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, but... <laughs> oh, suck my dick. <laughs> Gladly, have you? Yeah. I was, I was gonna add, I was gonna add one, one little uh, point uh, to that. Um, fuck me. Now it's not in my head. Fuck. Fuck. JT, did you want to say something? Yeah. Um, Hakeem, just jump in if you think of it, but. At the end of the day, we all need to pick a side. Everything is authoritarian. The maintenance of the status quo is authoritarian and violent, and overthrowing it will require that same or greater authoritarian means, right? So if mm. you decide that you want to call yourself a socialist, if you actually want a better future for yourself and your loved ones and future generations, then you need to pick the side of those, you know, the dirty authoritarian communists, <laughs> or you have chosen to side with the forces of reaction that are currently mostly exporting their authoritarianism abroad, bombing the, you know, the rest of the world, you might not experience it yet, but you are enabling that by choosing mm. to, to, to sit in the middle of the road and consider yourself a moderate. So pick a side, everything is authoritarian, and there's clearly the right side here. Exactly right. Which is left. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Exactly right. Exactly <laughs> anyway, right. to book to bookend well, it with another quote by Engels. Have these hmm. gentlemen ever seen these nuts? <laughs> 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 they're um, they're definitely I have and they're fucking glorious. Mm -hmm. You you could use a shave though, you know. I, I'm more of a modern type of mm -hmm. guy. Yeah, you know, it's it's all good, but um, yeah. <laughs> so I, I thought you were gonna jump into some stupid fucking oh this 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 uh, podcast is sponsored by fucking I don't know <laughs> this shaving company. Fuck. Hey, you know you, you, you know what they said. Have you you know what they said? Okay, the capitalists will sell us the rope with which we'll hang them. Okay, so yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> honestly, currently looking for for rope sponsorships. So that, that that was the general point about authoritarianism. There's so much more to say, but I think the the general I've repeated this quite a few times, and I think some people get upset about it. But it's just my personal perspective as somebody who's not uh, a you know a white person from the first world. Not not that there's anything wrong with it, they, 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 all that bullshit, right? Fuck, because everybody likes to take everything wrong. Um, but you know you have a different perspective if you're again. Uh, uh, shout out to the, to the to the white guy in Wisconsin <laughs> that I mentioned the other day. <laughs> <laughs> he commented, he's we like, as a white guy in Wisconsin. <laughs> yes, I do love you. Uh, but yeah, I was like, the perspective of, for example, a white dude in, in, in Wisconsin is very different from me. Um, and I think that this is, this entire idea of authoritarianism and whatnot is very fanciful. It's very stuck in the, uh, People who have always just been in the books and never have seen the direct result of the violence of the system. Exactly. Um, and I think there's a reason why whenever there's heightened class struggle, almost always you do see the violent paths being taken. That's not because, oh, you know, the evil red fash tankies all of a sudden have started popping from the fucking ground like mushrooms. It's because people's consciousness change when their material conditions change. And your current material conditions don't lead you to the understanding that, hey, maybe it's justified to use whatever violent means necessary against the ruling class in order to, uh, you know, bring in a more humane system. Um, and again, by the way, that doesn't mean that you should be authoritarian or quote unquote violent, uh, authoritarianism, violent, violence aren't always connected, but it doesn't mean you should be violent all the time, blah, blah, blah. Sometimes it's good to just work within the system, uh, et cetera, et cetera. There's so much nuance to this conversation, right? So nobody fucking at me being like, oh, you think we should go and fucking, uh, start a people's war in, in the fucking Walmart. Nobody's saying this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, um, uh, yeah. So yeah, that, that, that's that's the, the general point, okay? Um, there's so much nuance to the authoritarian question, and all of us hold this nuance. Uh, so if you think it's black and white, it's stupid. So so to 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 uh, you know collect all these these scared thoughts uh, to to you know uh, 